Uh, Sorcerer Claymore Castle. Great, great memories of that game. I Another Scott that. Adams game. Yeah, it's over there. It's, um, if you like, the box is just over there by the front of the eagle's nose. Commander John Koenig. Oh no, was it John Koenig? Nice. I was thinking of, um, I don't think I played this one. This is a Spectrum version. Oh, I know. Yeah, I do remember. I do remember. My Commodore 64 version lost. I love the artwork of that game so much. And I couldn't get a Commodore 64 version um, on eBay, so I ended up just buying a mint Spectrum version. But it doesn't uh, matter because the artwork. Used to fault colours, always at the same with most of the uh, Howorth graphic games. Okay, Adventure 13. Dedicated to Roe Adams, not a relative, and Richard Adams. Brother and favourite beta tester. TBM64 <laughs> version by Brian Holworth. Would you like to um, I type? navigate us through? Yes, there you go. There's a, a keyboard for you. Uh, I need look, a drink of water. Look. Look. Okay, so Moat, Castle, Raised Drawbridge. The parser is asking how. Mm. So if you answer it, does it recognise that you're... Then again, you'd have to answer it with the right yeah. answer because anything it would say, I do not understand. Have they? All brought, oh, they still haven't brought in the recall the last command thing. No. Did they? Uh, no, it doesn't work. Um, so, pull. I don't know. Pull. Lever. What lever? I don't know. Nothing special. So there is a lever there. Ah. <laughs> uh, is there? All right. Try this. Try this. Um. Um. Well, we know it hasn't even told us as a lever. Yeah. So say something like, um, um, punch. Leprechaun. I can't even spell leprechaun. <laughs> what the hell are you? I'm a leprechaun, me dear. <laughs> I don't know how to punch something. Okay, let's get back to that lever then. Uh, can we swim across the moat? That's a good one. I can't do that yet. Yeah. Jump. Jump. Right. So he attempted it. Oh, can we just move around? Yeah, go oh. N for north. Ah, okay. I'm in the forest of enchantment. Look, just go look. Okay. Climb tree? Oh, oh. oh no. I mean, never ending forest. Yep. This always used to remind me of the loop that um, the Doctor was caught in in Logopolis. <laughs> remember him and Adric were going stuck, through but... TARDIS after TARDIS after TARDIS. And the and most Scott Adams games had one of these type of loops. Because I remember the Doctor being concerned, so I hope we, can, you know, we might never get out. A chain of circumstances that fragments the law that holds the universe together. Okay, let's just have a... Let's play something we can play quite quick. Yeah. Let's go through these very quickly. See if anything, that? yeah, it's very hard. Mm. It still looks really good, actually. Do you want to see it? Anything yeah, yeah. Do you really? Because I used to love that animation as the ship flipped over. Was this the sequel to Paradroid? It was the next game Andrew did. Sort of thought it was. This is the ship escaping at the end. Yeah, of and you're I, flying back over the ship. I never actually read that anywhere. I think I just wanted it to be a direct <laughs> sequel. Set. I mean. I've never had the chance of speaking to Andrew. I've had some couple of emails with him over the years. Not a lovely chat, but that's one thing I've never asked him. This is quite hard with a joystick like this. But it's it's one of the greatest shoot 'em ups of the Commodore 64. I mean, we could shoot those ships. Anything with shadow was a raised object and was dangerous. You crash oh, into. That's right. Yeah. So quick. And there's lovely little Still things. Runs really well. Lovely little bits of. of Great design, but also the look of it is just first rate. Ah, oh, the balls. and that explosion is from Paradroid. <laughs> I recognise yeah, the that animation. Like yeah, that. and that that might not that sound as well is the same. Well, it's very similar. But why not? It's such a great sound. Use it. Oh yeah, you can get more. Yeah. Oh, oh very... that is so harsh. Yeah. But everything about it, oh. even the spit, the way the ship spins, then oh, as yeah. well in that sub menu, brilliant. Ah, that's it. Game over. We should put Paradroid on very briefly. Yeah.
as we already put the follow up on Iridium. This just looks. Uh, as I said, there was a there was a style about Andrew Braybrook's games. So you start off as zero zero one. And you've oh, got you have the ability to take over. That's right. Go through these doors. Now, obviously, oh, four, seven, six. yeah. So you can shoot, but your weapons are relatively so uh, relatively uh, weak. So obviously, what you want to do is advance. So what you would do is there's a robot. When you look for something around, not ridiculously high. Um, they're a bit high. Let's try four twenty. Right. right. So now you're into this sort of. You've got to take over the brain of the. Right. Yeah. So now you've got to pick a spot, the best one out. Let's go with that side. So you yes. pick the sides. Quick. Get the double. I can't. Come on. Oh no! Oh. I've blown it. I'm dead. That was appalling. And then it just was dead. Look. Yeah, you're dead, sure. <laughs> Bad to one, take it? over, you hold down. Yeah, I did actually do one level at this game. You know, yeah, I did yeah. that one ship once. Yeah, I remember I was there. These are like give you health back or something, don't they? Or is it these? So you hold down the button to turn you into. There you go. Now you're in takeover mode. Yeah, you're usually better off with sort of two or three hundred. There, he's prime. Oh, this is the info. Yeah. Go for him. I'm trying to move on too close to the screen. Uh, stick with this side. So black means it's equal. You're winning because it's purple. It's purple against yellow, basically. There you go. So we've lost. Oh no, you've lost. What is the matter with me? So yeah, the ones with the, the yes. little things that mean it will never. It won't be overwritten by the uh. side. That's what you need to go for, I think, isn't it? Well, I think we should probably play this. Uh, what I was just thinking about, actually, was uh, on the <sighs> stick, which I've now just forgotten about. Um, I was just thinking of a game. Now, one thing we should also not be afraid to do is sometimes load games that maybe. Like, we've got a good memory of this game. Do you I remember, remember this, game, this yeah. being at the again the same show where Dad picked up all this software, like Spitfire 40 and everything, mm. but Domart were there. Yeah. Um, and also Q, Desmond Llewellyn was there. Yeah, you bumped yeah. into him, didn't I you? I got his autograph, yeah. Standing there. But, so it was wonderful. A beautiful stand, fantastic posters. Q himself there, mm -hmm. all promoting this fantastic new James Bond license, View yeah. to a Kill. Um, and this was the game. Now let me just show you this. Did it even register the key press? Why? Right. Uh, the pose. Is <laughs> Look at that. It's like... The James Bond pose. But as you can see, it's a, it's a perfect representation of Roger Moore. I mean, yeah, it really looks like Roger Moore. He runs like that too, doesn't he? And the jump gives him this sort of... Look at the ankle breaker that, as you come down, landing on one foot. He's basically <laughs> jumping like almost the height of his body. Yeah, but but slowly. There's a, there is actually more to the game because look, I can go examine, and he'll examine this box, and then nothing happens. Oh great. So that's that. Yeah. Wait, can you hurry up? Because you've only got 89 minutes left. Oh yeah. <laughs> So what level is this? I don't remember this. Is this when the, this is near the end, isn't it? <sighs> that box better be important, I'm telling you. Oh, Jeff made it by his... Uh, See, I can't... How do you pick up anything? Space bar? Right. Oh, hang on. Examine. Use. Right. It's the thing that you can see on the screen. It seems to be the gist of that. Examine does nothing. Get, get lift? Get lift. It's really... Look. Would you like a go? What's happening? It goes, yeah. Oh. Just fall down the hole. He just headbutted himself. You quit. You've only... <laughs> it's 
going down to 87 health, though. He still He's stands dead. in the bond He's pose. Dead. Is he? He can't get out. <laughs> what on earth? So that's that. I'm now just trapped here forever. Yeah. It's a shame he hasn't got a sort of quip that you could make. Something. Brilliant. I'm almost speechless with admiration. This is so stupid. He can't even die. What's the point of pushing down like that? It shows you that there's more to the world here. Oh, great. Oh, we're going to have to restart then, because I can't get out of this. So there is no way out. Does that mean... No, really, is there a way out? I don't have this game, actually, on the an original Twitch. I don't think I've got it. Can't get out. Right. <laughs> I insist. This is a great game. Oh, that was the time for the bomb, isn't it? That's what it is. Yes. Remember Boulder Dash? Mm, Fan yeah, that's Fantastic great. music as well. Doom, 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 doom. Oh, no, was that? Yeah, there you go. Really, really good, great sound. I remember this. This was a good game, Boulder yeah. Dash. Do, 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 do. <gasps> Good, uh, good physics on this game. Really Brilliant. It. You can really easily get yourself trapped. Yep. And get out of some of the most unbelievable near misses. You know, where you think, oh! And the way, ah! Like that. Yeah, even the crystal can so kill difficult. you. So difficult, yeah. But look, straight back in. It was a really nice quick. And this game was a, was a what I used to call a five minute fire up. Where you just fancied something for a few minutes to play when you needed to kill a bit of time. This was a great one. Oh, oh, no. Oh, I oh you were dead, you were dead. Oh, yeah, let's do this. Oh, you can push the rocks as well. Oh, uh, yeah, you could push them, that's right. I need something with a directional pad on it. I find it really difficult with an analog stick. It was it was addictive. Level, I guess. Yeah. Do you have to get all the crystals or get to the end? I can't remember. Oops. Oh, yeah. There we go. That's the end. Boom, I did it. Well done. Level one. Shaker noise. What's that thing? I think when you free it, it, it it's uh, I think it's dangerous. I think it sort of darts about. Oh, and it sort of tunnels yeah. through, doesn't it? You have to be a bit careful with it. Well, it just reverberates wherever, not it just sort of bounces around, and inevitably gets in your way at some point and kills you. Of course. Oh, I can't move those ones. You remember the um, which magazine this character appeared in? 
Oh, was this from Zap? Well, it was. Ollie drew it. Oh, right. Oliver so Frey so drew it crashed. in Zap. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. Do you remember that? On the cover, wasn't it? Yeah. But it was obviously. It was Rockford and. Uh, yes, the character from the, from the magazine. The little doodles that he put in usually at the end once yeah, he'd done he all the panels. Be on the, uh... He would just add a couple to the uh, finished boards. I was very proud to have him add them to the, from Bedroom Spillings poster, actually. Oh, no. On one of the posters. Oh. Yeah, incredible. Yeah, it? they were hanging off the moon. I remember we were trying to work out where to put them, and I just said, can you put them on the moon? Or hanging from the moon. Ooh. So that was a little puzzle. Ah. Oh, what does that mean? I think it means I've got the last one. Yes. No, it can't be. Well, unless it's guiding you to the next one. Hmm. So I don't actually know where I'm supposed to go now. Oh, there is a time limit. About 69 seconds left. Can you see the exit? Go down. You've done all the top bits. I started at the bottom. Right? Yeah, but it might be down and left. Oh, there it is. Oh, it's where I started. Watch yourself. Yeah, that is tricksy. Did it. Great game. Pretty good puzzle game.